If we would sit down and, and cry and be sad the whole time, Reagan would be upset. You know, that's, she absolutely would uh, want us to keep going. Their tree is decorated, the stockings are up, and for Brad Vanoss, his wife Angela, and their children, it will be a holiday unlike any before. That's because 10-year-old Reagan Vanoss won't be there. I see her everywhere, and I can, um, she would always, she was my little, my little partner, my little pal. Her father says in May she was riding the ATV with him as he dragged fields at the Field of Dreams baseball complex, something they'd done many times. But when it was time to put the four-wheeler away, he says he went too fast, and though he tried to brake, they went tumbling. Reagan didn't survive. She was going to be like the CEO of a major company or the president of the United States. Like She just had that about her. The family found great support after the tragedy and now wants to give back in their daughter's honor. They've launched the Purple Monkey Project, named after her favorite stuffed animal in color, to help kids in programs she was a part of, including show choir and dance. They're also sponsoring two kids this Christmas. Just being able to get out there and, and help people in her name, keep her legacy going, that's that's huge for us. Some days the family still watches old TikToks for a glimpse of Reagan's bright smile. They all smile too, thinking of little Reagan cheering them on. They know she will never stop. There's little signs every day that, you know, uh, you hear or something comes up to where, oh yeah, she's there, you know, that sort of thing. Now the family wants to make a big impact as they know their daughter would want them to. They hope to eventually launch a $10,000 scholarship to help another child pursue their dreams. Reporting in Fairfield, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.